Hi everyone, Scott Weaver with Designers Workroom. So the question is, how do you know when your cushion needs to be replaced on a piece of furniture? Well, it's quite easy actually, and I'm going to show you an example. So a person brought in, they wanted new foam in their existing cushions. I'm going to show you why they needed it. So this is their old cushion. And right in here, there's uh, where it is kind of crowning in here, okay? So you can kind of see it's really squishy. So if you check your cushions at your house, look especially at the front. That'll tell you if you need to replace them. It's when they start to bulge out like this. It's no longer a real squa um, squared off. So if you look around to here, you can see how nice squared off. Now I'm going to show you one that we just replaced the foam. Okay, so you can tell what that looks like right here. Here is one that we replaced the foam. See how nice and square that is right here? Okay, that's solid. You go like this, you're getting a little bit, nothing like this one. You see this? This is B. So that's how you know. Look for this crowning right here. If it doesn't look nice and flat on the front like that, your foam needs to be replaced. And why would you want to replace your foam? Because it can give you all kinds of back problems, especially your lower back. If your lower back is starting to go, every time you get up on the couch, you gotta kinda stretch it out. Most likely, over the years, you haven't noticed, but the cushion has gotten really soft. Silicone spray on it, it'll help it glide through the foam, but if you need to use it, not a bad option. It does do the trick. May not be perfect, but uh, not everybody can afford one of these guys, which are very expensive. So anyway, tip of the day today, look at the front of your cushion. If it looks like it is not squared off like this and it's bulging, you know you have to replace your foam. Thanks for watching Scott Weaver with Designers Workroom.